Well, welcome to Bringing It Home. Hey, today we're going to look at the second question in our uh, devotional book that we've been working through, the New City Catechism. Uh, the question for today is an amazing question. What is God? You know, that's such an important question for us uh, that we all have to answer. You know, no longer does our culture have a kind of a common idea of who or what God is. Um, that means that we have to be able to define that for ourselves as well as to have any kind of conversation with anybody uh, about uh, the Lord. You know, we're all subject to the laws of nature. You know, you can decide to jump off the roof um, uh, and you'll find out pretty quick uh, when you hit the ground um, what is true, uh, no matter what you believe about gravity or not. Uh, and so it's the same with God. You know, um, it's not what we believe about God. It's what is true about God that we need to, to align ourselves up with. Our job isn't to make up what we believe about God, but to believe in what is true and what who He is. Now, thankfully, He has revealed to us who He is in the Scriptures. Um, and in Psalm 86, uh, it, which is the, the answer for this question that is quoted, um, it gives us a great... Uh, a description of, of some of the characteristics, at least, of God. It says, But you, Lord, are a compassionate and gracious God, slow to anger, abounding in love and faithfulness. Now, that's our theme verse for the year. Um, and not only does the Bible tell me about who God is, but, but uh, the experience of my life bears that out. We can go through those characteristics and, and come up with all kinds of different examples in our own lives of, of how God has uh, uh, treated us in these same ways. Um, so uh, let's bring it home today a little bit. This week, you know, ask a couple people that you know that are on the street, maybe in the grocery store, I don't know, wherever you run into people. Ask them what they believe about God. You're going to hear all kinds of different answers, everything from, you know, he's a force, he's a spirit, he's a this, he's a that. Um, you're going to get all kinds of answers to that. But then ask them, how do they know that that's true? Um, and you're going to get a bunch of different answers for that too. But, but uh, it will also give you then an opportunity, more than likely anyway, to begin to explain what you believe to be true and why you believe it to be true, which becomes so important. So we can begin to nail down uh, this question for this week uh, in, in a very practical way in our lives. So let's bring it home. Mm -hmm.